What's up guys? This is John Snow, SU Aviation. Today we're going to do a starting procedure for the SR20 along with a taxi and run-up. So let's get started. Alright, so first things first, grab out our checklist, make sure we our pre-flight is totally complete. We've looked around the aircraft, made sure everything's safe to fly. So now we're going to go ahead and we've got our taxi or our parking brake set. We've got our caps pin right here. This is the pin that protects our parachute from going off. So now it's armed and ready. Caps pins removed and on the dash. So our seats and seat belts are secure. We'll consider our passenger brief complete. Our fuel selector right now it's on their lowest tank. We're going to switch that to our fullest tank after we start the plane. We're going to bring the power up to about a fourth of an inch. Okay, so before our start checklist complete, let's go ahead and turn on our batteries. And our strobe is going to come on too. We want to do that so that everybody around us can see that we're about to start the plane. That way nobody gets in front of our, our propeller. Strobe's on, our fuel pump, go ahead and come on. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring the mixture up. Right here I'm checking our fuel flow. Verify we've got positive fuel flow and bring the mixture right back to cut off. Let's go ahead and verify our area is clear. I'm gonna go ahead and open this window. Clear prop! Throw our key in. All right, looks like our propeller's clear. It is clear, we're gonna go ahead and crank it. All right, now right after the engine rolls over, I'm bringing the mixture up to full rich, and then I'm bringing the RPM back to about 1,000. Checking our oil pressure, verifying it's in the green, we're good. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn on our alternators. Let's go ahead and charge that engine, or charge the, uh, the battery there. Avionics on. We're going to switch tanks, just like I told you, we're going to switch back to the fullest tank, which now it is. Fuel pump's coming off. All right. All right here we're checking our navigation data, verify it's current, which it is. All right here I'm going to use this MFD now to go through the rest of the checklist items. This is for our passenger brief, if you got any passengers. All right, so if you've got any passengers, they're going to run through this you're going to run through this checklist with them to verify that they know all the emergency exits and how to use the seatbelts and all that. I'm feeling safe today. All right, put in our weight and balance information. All right, once our weight and balance information is in all there, we're looking at these, the uh, center of gravity, verifying it's within our center of gravity limits for the aircraft. We'll go ahead and confirm that. Jump to the rest of the checklist here. Okay, before taxi checklist, we're gonna bring our flaps up. They're down currently from our pre-flight, so we're gonna bring those up, verify they come up. All right, flaps did come up. Our radios and avionics look good. Let's go ahead and grab our weather. Cedar City Regional Airport. Wind one eight zero at one seven. Peak gusts two five. Visibility one the reason zero. We want to check the weather just to Sky verify it. We're taking five, off on the right runway into the wind. Scattered. And Nine that our thousand, uh, altimeter is broken, set. One set one thousand. Temperature zero five Celsius. Dew point minus one zero Celsius. Altimeter two niner eight two. Remarks. Density altitude 5,900. All right, so altimeter setting 2982, so we're going to set that right there. Okay, our fuel selector is on the correct tank, fullest tank. That completes our before taxi checklist. So we're going to go and jump back to our map and go and taxi over there. So first things first, I'm going to take the parking brake off. Then we're going to uh, check our brakes. Let's go. All right, park brakes off. Let's go and give it some power. Start moving here. Hey, ha, it's cool. I want to make sure our brakes work, cool. so I'm going to test those. I'm going to keep you updated. Hey, it looks like our brakes work. Close to the airport. All right, guys. Once we've maneuvered the plane for the run-up, we're going to go ahead and set the parking brakes so we don't move, and we're going to break out that checklist again. All right, poor takeoff checklist. It's like our doors are closed, our caps handle is verified removed, our seat seat belts are secure. Air conditioner is as desired. Our fuel quantity we verified visually right here that we do have enough fuel. We've uh, checked all of the wings too, so we're good to go there. Our fuel selector is on the fullest tank again. Our flaps, we're gonna go ahead and set those to 50. Sears SR20, we take off 
the normal takeoff flaps 50%. Our transponder here is set to 1200. Our autopilot will go ahead and check that. So I'm going to push our level button, push our heading knob, verify that our traffic keeper set and turning right across on our right. Our stick is moving the correct way for the autopilot just in case we use it in flight. I'll make sure it's going up and down now. T-Bird's you guys staying in the pattern. Alright, looks good to me. We'll go ahead and take uh, it off right, autopilot. Verify yeah, it turns like off. That's just as important. Looks like we're good. Navigation oh, radios yeah. are set and correct our cabin heat defrost. We're going to keep it cold here. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and actually run up the engine. So I'm going to take it. Here's the RPM. I'm going to take that to about 2200 RPM. Alright, so all I'm doing is holding the brakes to make sure that we don't move while we do this. This gives the engine to kind of enough time to kind of spool up. So, pull up our engine page. Looks like our gauges are in the green. We're still warming up just a little bit. We've got plenty of of uh, time before we take off, so we'll keep warming up that engine. Alright, now I'm going to take the mixture. I'm going to go ahead and lean it. Unlike a car and a plane, we have the ability to set the amount of fuel that the engine gets depending on the altitude we're at. The less air, the higher you go, so... Since we're at a high density altitude airport here, we get to lean the mixture back. Okay, mixture is set. Now we're going to go ahead and check the alternator. So I'm going to load up all of our electrical that we have, verify that our alternator 2 is taking the majority of the load, and that there is no discharge on our battery. Turn everything else off that we don't need. I'm going to leave the landing light and the strobe on because we're going to get ready to take off soon. Now I'm going to go ahead and check our magnetos. So right here, our magnetos, we're going to flip those, we're going to check the left and right, we want the limitation on the Cirrus is no more than a 175 drop on RPM, no more than 50 in between. Alright, we'll check left first. About 100 drop. Alright, check the right. Alright, we're about a... About the same there, 100, 100, 100, 110. So we meet the limitation there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go back to our checklist, verify what's next. So now I'm just picking through what we've done already, make sure we don't miss anything. All right, magnetos were good. Our engine parameters, a quick verify again that our engine gauges are in the green, which they are, oil temp, oil pressure, our cylinder head temperature, our exhaust gas temperature is all in the green. Now we'll go ahead and bring the power lever back to 1,000 RPM. Alright, everything is correct there. Okay, now preparing for takeoff, we're going to turn our fuel pump back on, go ahead and check our flight instruments. So, I'm going to make sure our ailerons are moving side to side, which they are, make sure our elevator is moving up and down, which it is free and correct, and our rudder, make sure it's moving side to side. Rudder is free and correct. Our flight instruments. So we're going to go ahead and look at our our airspeed control here. Airspeed looks like it's zero. So that's correct. Our attitude is up and erect. Our altitude matches the field elevation. Our BSI is zero, and our HSI matches our magnetic compass up here. Looking good. Our standbys are correct as well. Our trim is set for takeoff, and the autopilot is disconnected.
right guys, thanks for coming along. That's our video on how to start up an SR20. So go ahead and leave a comment in our comment box and smash that like button and hope to see you soon flying.